physical and chemical changes. Properties like shape, size, color, state are called as physical properties of a substance. Whenever there is any change in the physical properties of a substance, the change is called as a physical change. In a physical change, no new substances are formed. Second is, there may be change in the physical state, like ice is converted into water. But the properties of the substance remain the same. Means, the property of ice as well as water are same. Physical changes may be reversible or irreversible in nature. Chemical changes Children, as you all know, when baking soda and vinegar are mixed together, salt and water is formed with the release of carbon dioxide gas. In this reaction, the chemical properties of the new substances, that is salt, water and carbon dioxide, is totally different from the reactant, that is baking soda and vinegar. So, we can define chemical changes as the changes in which new substances with different chemical properties are formed are called as chemical changes. In a chemical change, there may be change in the color of new product or there may be formation of an insoluble solid at the bottom called as precipitate. There may be evolution of gas. There may be change in the smell of new substance or generation of light and sound can be there. Now to check how much you have grasped, I have given you certain examples and you will classify them as physical or chemical change. So now children, let's start. Breaking of a glass. It is a physical change as no new substances are formed. Next is inflating a balloon. It is a physical change as only the size of balloon gets changed. Next example is making of chapati. It is a chemical change as on cooking the dough, its chemical properties also get changed. Another example I have taken is breaking of pencil. It is a physical change as there is no change in their physical properties. Our next example is burning of a matchstick. It is a chemical change as matchstick burns to form ash and smoke. Condensation that is conversion of water vapor into water. It is a physical change as only state of water is changed. Burning of candle. It is a chemical change as during the process wax vaporizes and form heat, light, water vapor and carbon dioxide. Burning of magnesium ribbon. It is a chemical change because burning requires oxygen and during the process magnesium reacts with oxygen to form a new substance magnesium oxide. When we dissolve magnesium oxide in water, it forms a new substance magnesium hydroxide. Now the question is what is the nature of magnesium hydroxide? Is it acidic, basic or neutral? For this what you can do is dip both red and blue litmus paper in magnesium hydroxide solution. You will observe that there is no change in the color of blue litmus paper whereas the red litmus paper change its color from red to blue. That means magnesium hydroxide is basic in nature. Next example is stretching of a rubber band. It is a physical change as only the size of the rubber band has been changed. Next is melting of wax. It is again a physical change as only the state of wax is changed. Yellowing of leaves of plants. It is a chemical change due to aging certain chemical reactions have taken place inside the plant cells. Next is post-fertilization changes. That is, 
flower is converted into fruit and fruit into seeds it is a type of chemical change molding of dough it is a type of physical change it is because only the shape of the dough has been changed but still the chemical properties are unchanged boiling of milk it is a type of physical change rotting of fruits it is a type of chemical change that had occurred due to the action of certain enzymes present in them next is rusting of iron rusting is a process in which iron reacts with moist air that is air and water to form a reddish brown colored substance called as rust children can you tell me which type of change is there in rusting yes it is a type of chemical change it is because a new substance rust has been formed this is copper sulfate solution i have dipped an iron nail into the solution let's see what will happen after half an hour you can observe here that the color of the solution has been changed from light blue to light green as well as at the bottom of the beaker there is a reddish brown color substance formed here copper sulfate solution which is light blue in color when react with iron forms a dark green colored substance called as iron sulfate and copper is deposited at the bottom of the beaker see you can observe here this is an example of displacement reaction next is crystallization crystallization is the process in which we get pure form of a substance in form of crystals here i will explain you crystallization in copper sulfate first of all we will prepare a saturated solution of copper sulfate saturated solution is a solution in which no more solute can be dissolved we can increase the solubility of a saturated solution by heating so we will heat the solution to increase its solubility so we will heat the saturated copper sulfate solution to increase its solubility while heating add more copper sulfate powder to it and make the solution super saturated now hang a thread inside the solution as i have shown here keep this arrangement undisturbed for 2 to 3 days you will see crystals around the thread and in the beaker these crystals have a definite geometrical pattern and a pure form of a substance now children can you identify the type of change yes children you are absolutely right it is a type of physical change it is because there is no change in the chemical property of the substance only the shape has been changed another example i have taken is browning of fruits and vegetables when we keep cut fruits and vegetables open in air for some time they turn brown do you know why this happens it is because there are certain enzymes present in fruits and vegetables these enzymes react with the oxygen present in the air and form a brown color pigment that causes browning in fruits and vegetables it is called oxidation reaction now you all can easily identify the type of change yes browning of fruits and vegetables is a type of chemical change last example is digestion of food during the process of digestion the complex form of a substance is converted into its simplest form like carbohydrate is converted into sugar and sugar into glucose protein is converted into amino acid and fats is converted into fatty acid and glycerol so we can say that it is a type of chemical change as new substances with different properties are formed after the reaction now children the chapter is clear to everyone now at the end 
I am providing you a worksheet. Now I think you all will be able to answer these questions yourself. Isn't it? Now let's start. Formation of curd. Burning of a paper. Water cycle. Boiling of an egg. Bursting of crackers. Folding a paper. Cutting of fruits. Burning of magnesium ribbon. Crystallization. Rusting of iron.